Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to participate to the Learning Festival, which is organized by Dublin City Universities in some cultural association and some education and institution with uh, UNESCO. Uh, I, my name is Nasruddin Sajuki. I am originally from Afghanistan, but I'm living in Ireland more than 21 years. So I was uh, working in Afghanistan as a planning director, and I am an author uh, with uh, 17 books. Uh, I also studied literature in University of Kabul University. Uh, I arrived in Ireland uh, in the year 2000 by the help of UNHCR. Uh, I am very delighted to participate to this uh, festival because this festival is an initiative project which is a fantastic project, which is bringing, um, uh, bringing uh, education uh, for the people. Uh, I should mention to, today, I would, uh, would like to speak regarding uh, immigration and my uh, experience of immigration to you. Uh, this immigration, which I have mentioned, this is my uh, experience from immigration. Uh, 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 immigration is a uh, natural aspect. You know that everybody knows that uh, birds are immigrating from one climate to another climate to get uh, good food, a good life, a good uh, food and good air. And also people are immigrating from one state, from one country to another country because of fear of, uh, fear of uh, execution, fear of uh, um, being uh, in prison, fear of political problem, religious problem. Uh, they are uh, torture. They are immigrating from one country to another country. Also, this uh, immigration is not just for uh, Afghan or for some people who have difficulty. They are coming to one state to another state, one country to another country. But in Western country, also, we see that the people are immigrating from one state to another state to get well-paid job, to have better life. Uh, immigration uh, is a nat natural aspect for everybody. I should mention that I also, as an Afghan Irish citizen, I am also a good, I'm an immigrant in Ireland because uh, I have experience of uh, immigrant uh, immigration in Iran, Pakistan, and uh, Ireland. Uh, I was, I, resided uh, or I relocated from uh, Iran to Ireland by the help of UNICEF uh, when I came here. So I was resided to a hotel. And this hotel also, there was a, a lady, there was a journalist lady. Uh, she was uh, working as a part-time in the reception. Her name was Gwen McNamara. And she was uh, working on one conference, which was Called, which called Multimedia International Conference, which was run by the uh, Britain and uh, United States and uh, Dublin in France. McNamara uh, invited me to this conference to be part of this conference. I accepted at that time, but at that time it was difficult for me to have a talk or to have a lecture in this conference, but when I saw the agenda of this conference, there was an exhibition from one of Irish painter, Nice Cassidy, it was in the Civic Museum. Then I thought it's better for me to have some exhibition, calligraphy and painting exhibition from Afghanistan beside her. So there was a much space for me and I uh, presented one exhibition to this conference. This conference was two, three days and different area. This conference cost that I could uh, uh, introduce with the money people, I also mean money education, maybe money cultural uh, uh, institution with the media, with different uh, people. This was a good opportunity for me that I was known by everybody. After that, uh, a group of Afghan people that there were two, three, four families, they asked me, it's better to have, for us to, the, to establish one community, to be more active in this society. 
okay, I, I accept, accept that, so then we uh, established the community in the name of Afghan Community and Cultural Association with different aim and objectives. For example, to be active in international cultural exchange nationally and internationally, to celebrate uh, our festivities uh, and to defend human rights, to assist Afghan refugee and asylum seeker, to establish link with different uh, different organizations, governmental and non-governmental organizations, and whether there was any other aim. But fortunately, we could uh, we could uh, achieve and we could promote our uh, our goal uh, because we could uh, we could uh, have a, a, a number of articles, a number of uh, uh, newsletter, and also we had uh, many booklet which was. Uh, 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 which was uh, uh, publishing uh, about Afghan culture, and, uh, and also there was many other. Uh, and also we uh, we ran a number of uh, concert, ran off a number of exhibition uh, in Ireland, and also we had the, uh, the New Year celebration. Our first step was New Year celebration. It was very good that we celebrate our New Year with the host country, with local community. We had a mix, uh, a mix uh, celebration. For example, we have mix uh, event. For example, we had Irish and Afghan music together. We had Irish and Afghan talk together. We had, the, we had music, we had dance, we had Afghan food. We had many things in that uh, celebration. When we celebrate these, uh, these uh, even to the cultural association and to cultural centers such as uh, the Chester Beatty Library and some other uh, cultural association. Um, it just was very good for us to, to be uh, active in this society. And we were the first people who brought the word of Nowruz to this society. People didn't know about New Year. It was the first time that we celebrate New Year in Ireland. After that, uh, bit by bit, uh, Dublin City Council with uh, a new initiative project, they uh, brought different community, different uh, ethnic minority communities such as Iraqi, Iranian, Azeri, and Turkish and Afghan together. And they celebrate together, uh, Afghan, uh, uh, they celebrate a, a New Year celebration in uh, Dublin City Hall, which was very, very, fantastic uh, uh, event. We had their music, we had their exhibition, we had different, uh, different uh, event, different, different uh, music, different uh, food. Uh, it was very good for us. And bit by bit, uh, we saw that people uh, integrate in this society, our Afghan or the integrated society. After that, this uh, official, uh, running official, celebration, this come to the people, then people, they celebrate their own. One thing that I should mention that people should know about New Year, New Year, our New Year starts in 21st of March. So uh, New Year, it's a, our New Year is a similar of uh, Christian New Year, it's similar of Western Union, Western uh, uh, New Year, because the, we have also celebrating uh, the roads like uh, to giving gift to each other. We are also going to uh, each other home and also to visit our families. We are going to the park. We have, we, we celebrate the similar, but in Europe, in the case Western country, because people are far from each other, they had to uh, celebrate their new year in a park or in a hotel in a, some area and they are coming together because they are living in different areas, they are coming together. It is not all the time that we are celebrating New Year in a hotel or something. But after that, people were integrated in the society. They celebrate uh, di differently uh, uh, other, in other way. Uh, I should mention that I have uh, uh, a footage of uh, this uh, event. And I will show you this uh, by and with you a feature of uh, photographs, which is how we celebrate Afghan New Year.
launching Nooroos the Festival of Spring in Stevens Green. This is the second year we're holding this festival in Ireland. Um, Nooroos actually means New Day in Farsi and it's a celebration of the spring equinox, which usually happens on the 20 to 21st of March. Um, this is a festival that's celebrated all across the Middle East and Central Asia and it's really a time to sort of look at nature, how nature is uh, uh, restarting uh, and sort of rejuvenating and that human beings should do the same with their lives. We have a whole range of events organized in Dublin, um, including our big family day out on Sunday 20 23rd of March in Meeting House Square and also we have an exhibition in the Centre for Creative Practices, an exhibition of artwork and photography from the countries of the Middle East. Other things which I mentioned, I should say that Ireland was a good, uh, a good place for me. It is a country which is very people are sociable and also friendly. I feel a lot of a much comfort in this society. And also I got opportunity beside my job to write some things. So as, as I was an author, but I could write a number of books in Ireland, which is sometimes I was going to Afghanistan because here is not a um, library. I was going to Afghanistan. I bring uh, many research from Afghanistan. And then I was editing here and then was publishing in Ireland, Iran, and Afghanistan. So I should mention that from the, among these books, which is 17 books, so which I have, so I should mention that few books, which is relating to the Europe, Europe and uh, immigration, I should I want to review some of these books to you, which is very important. For example, I should say that uh, Music and Theater and, uh, and Herald. This book was published in Iran. It is published by Iranian authority, which is a, it was a center of civilization and dialogue. It was an uh, office, which is center of civilization, civilization and dialogue. It was published by Iranian authority. This is a good book that People are getting it is a wallet. They are, they are getting much. People are getting reference from wallet. This is a wallet book that the, uh, most of scholars they are getting uh, wallet uh, reference from this book. Next book was uh, uh, from Af uh, it was uh, Afghanistan uh, music and uh, uh, heritage professional musician. It is this book from John Professor John Bailey who is a reader in Goldsmith University. John Billy was, uh, had a research in Afghanistan and he was doing his PhD. It was in uh, 1970 at that time. I was young at that time. We, we, I, I know John Billy because John Billy had a link with the, most of the uh, Hiroti family and also she, she had link with our family. I was, uh, I know that how he has research. I was aware about his activity in Herat. Then I decided that to, to translate his book from uh, English to Persian. So this book also I translated and also footnoted uh, in Persian. This book also was uh, published by the Ministry of Art and Culture in Afghanistan. Uh, this book also a valid uh, reference for all um, researcher. The other book is, uh, no, I should uh, say that uh, it says Afghan, uh, Afghan media and diaspora. We should we know that uh, during this war, four decades war, people are emigrating from Afghanistan 
they went to the neighboring country, they went to, uh, uh, to the Western countries. Among these people who, million of people who immigrated from Afghanistan, a number of, uh, among of these people, we have writers, we have uh, journalists, we have uh, uh, artists, the uh, government employees, many, many people, different people, they, they also immigrated. When they came to the other countries, they established a cultural association and they established uh, media uh, media centers and, and all over the world. So this book also about these uh, people who are uh, were active in media. So in this book about uh, 470 pages. And when we see that, we will find the index of this work that there is 1,500 journalists are involved in this book. So this is very a, a, a huge job that people do. So this book also published in uh, Ireland and also launched in uh, in Ireland in in London with the Embassy of Afghanistan and Afghan Academy. It was a good day that we had a good uh, book launch. The other book I had, which was this was a uh, from Dambura to Guitar, the Diaspora of Afghan Musicians. This book also is the life of musicians who immigrated from Afghanistan to, uh, to the Western countries, in the Northwestern to the all Western and Eastern countries. These people, uh, they came also their life, they were active in the other society. And we have many young uh, artists, some young, 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 uh, young uh, musicians that they are, they became a star in, the other uh, Western country. Uh, and also they are not just, uh, the, they are playing music and the music is their hobby. Each one, they have a subject and they studied in university and they are very good at story in the world. And also in this book, we have many, many um, uh, uh, chapters such as uh, Afghanistan music, Afghanistan music and dance, Afghanistan ensemble in the Western uh, countries that we have many many things in this uh, book. This book also was reviewed and footnoted by uh, Professor uh, Inayatullah Sharani, Professor John Bailey, uh, Dr. Sharon Lynch, and uh, Ustad Abdul Abdul Wahab Madidi. They all all of them they they wrote and uh, review in this book, which is this book also. Uh, I sometimes I'm getting some email. Uh, that I will see, see that uh, most of people, most of researchers, they are using this book as an academic uh, research. And they, in their academic research, they, they get the references and they, you know, they show me that you, this book is used for this paper. All the time I'm getting, it's, a, it's important for me that such book is used for the researcher in the other Western country. And another book which I had, this is very important that this is from uh, uh, it's called the uh, afghanistan uh, uh, through the mirror it is uh, about the about the life of afghan food afghan photojournalist and western photojournalists who were active into afghanistan this book also has uh, the, this book also published in two versions the one english and another uh, persian english also launched in ireland Persian is launched in Afghanistan. Uh, this book also, uh, we have to say, there are many chapters in this book. First chapter, when we say it is uh, about the uh, history of photography. Another one is uh, uh, the observation of European from Afghanistan from 19, uh, 1839. And other things, it's Afghan box camera, which is Afghan box camera. It's a wooden camera, which is very old. It's 100 years that Afghanistan are using this camera. It is a wooden uh, box, which is there is a, a lens fixed there, and there is a paler. People are still using that box. There, it was uh, strange that there are two people, two persons, one from uh, Lokosberg from uh, Austria and St. Fuli from Ireland. These two uh, guys, that uh, they were they were photojournalists. They went to, to Afghanistan. They had a long research. So it was fantastic research. They have written a book uh, in the name of Afghan Box Comrade. And this Afghan Box Comrade also used in the uh, in, in, in United States uh, uh, school. Children are seeing this book, uh, Comrade, and they are taking pictures. This is very important for us. 
Uh, and as, as after that, we have a number of uh, um, a number of uh, photojournalists. We have uh, their foreign photojournalists, such as John Burt, such as uh, uh, Glenn Foster, and Niedermeyer from Germany. We have uh, put Dr. Putish from Arizona, and also we have uh, Mary uh, from United States. When we go to the life of these people, this is very important for us that when I say immigration is not just for Afghanistan, but we see these people also immigrated to Afghanistan because they were, they were also looking for jobs. For example, I should mention first one, I should do the history of uh, the biography of John Burke. John Burke is an Irish photographer. He was uh, uh, an old man. He had an old father. At that time, Ireland was a, uh, uh, there, there was a drought in Ireland. Most of the Irish people immigrated to different countries. This Irish John Burke, who is a, a photographer, who was a photographer, he tried to go to Afghanistan, and he went with an uh, old comrade, uh, with his father, to Afghanistan. First, he went to India. In India, he couldn't find any good job, so then he decided to go to uh, to go to Afghanistan. And there was, at that time, uh, uh, there was a, a Britain also in Afghanistan and India. So he wanted to be, a, uh, be a, uh, an official photographer with the Britain military service, but his application was rejected. They told him that you can take pictures and you can take pictures as a business and you can do your business. John Burke from uh, travel from India through the mountain to Kandahar. He pictured Kandahar, Afghanistan, and then he moved to Afghanistan to head to Kabul. To Kabul, he went uh, the first time he posed Afghan King uh, Muhammad Yagub Khan. And he, at that time, Yagub Khan didn't know about photographs. He posed him on the chair and also took his photo and also show how this photo exists and how this photo is uh, coming out by material, by chemical material. And then, then he started to uh, get permission from the king and he uh, took photographs and had many, many albums uh, from ordinary people from different areas of Afghanistan. He prepared many, many albums, photographic albums. This photographic album, one of these photographic albums is uh, 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 one officer and one uh, British officer bought one of his albums from him, and he brought to the uh, uh, king of uh, uh, the queen of uh, Britain. And the queen also uh, sent this uh, album to British Library. I saw these albums from British Library, and also I got permission to have some photo from this uh, album. They are fantastic album because it's from, from the 80. Uh, all uh, John Burke went to Afghanistan from 1878 to 1880. He was there. And from that time, it is a, such a, 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 a fantastic album. You cannot see it in the world. I saw this album. Uh, also, we have to mention that there was another another uh, uh, photojournalist, and another person that I should mention about his life. That was Glenn Foster. He was American, Glenn Foster. Glenn Foster was, uh, he says about his life, he says that I was a poor man and also for my father was uh, uh, bringing my, what, a battery from the, my village. He was living in, uh, in California and he was bringing a battery from the village to the town and he was charging this battery and bringing it back to my home and we were... Uh, we were using a uh, radio for a week. And then this person also, he says that I was a poor, uh, a poor man and also I was working in pump station. After that, I was became, I became a, a lorry driver and he could find his, uh, some money to uh, pay for the university. And also he finished the uh, university as a uh, uh, civil engineering. He, he became a civil engineer and he was looking for a job. He couldn't find a job in the United States. He was going everywhere. After that, he found out that there is a 
project into Kandahar, that uh, is a dam project in Kandahar. He applied uh, there and also he sent some application that uh, he wanted to be hired there. His application was approved. Then he moved to Kabul, to, uh, to Kandahar. In Kandahar, he find the one technician, his name was uh, Gulabuddin. His Gulabuddin was a technician. He was helping his, him for taking photograph and also helping him for technician. He bring a number of photos from there. And his photo, after he died, his child, his, his son could edit as a film. This is important for us that he show how Afghanistan was at that time. The another one is was, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, Dr. Putlish, he uh, traveled from uh, Arizona University uh, by UNESCO program to Afghanistan and he was uh, uh, working in uh, uh, in a teacher's college uh, for two years. He also pictured Afghanistan. This is important. And uh, for example, we have more like this. So I cannot uh, say all of that. But I also should mention that I have, uh, beside this book, I I I, I could uh, uh, have one uh, uh, DVD. Well, this is a DVD. This DVD is feature of a number of uh, uh, feature of. Uh, photograph features exhibition from these people, and also in this DVD you will can find many films, many films uh, uh, in here, uh, many films uh, that the uh, old films from Afghanistan. Uh, all these uh, photojournalist life and uh, uh, work is in this. After that, I should mention that uh, I want to tell you that. I try to show you one of these uh, uh, video, which is uh, prepared, uh, edited some picture from um, uh, from uh, Dr. Putlish, Glenn Foster, and uh, uh, Mary, Mary, Mary Patterson. And it's important that Mary also, Mary was a uh, was a working in and uh, uh, looking for a job. She couldn't find the job. At that time, the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the United States asked that is if there are some girls or boys, boy, they want to go to Afghanistan to, to be as a diplomat, they can go. Because at that time, the United States didn't want to send people who are uh, married because they have to pay. They try to ask people who are single. This Mary, she also find the job, she went into Afghanistan. She also uh, a picture of Afghanistan. And also, it, it, it was a strange that one day I was invited in Dublin with some, uh, by some Afghan. There was some uh, uh, people from the United States. And one person, his name was Bradley, and uh, he brought a number of books of film and uh, photos in front of me. He said, he said that this is the film, this is they or the film, they are the pictures which my mother was taking uh, from Afghanistan in, nine, in uh, 1958. So it was very good. I have this time for, I, I, I prepared some of these uh, uh, photos in this video. You can watch that. Thank you.
My last, last book is uh, From Afghanistan to Ireland. Why I write this book? Because this is this, uh, anything if you, any job, any, any uh, research that you are doing, so there is the cause of that, the why you are doing. I was uh, three years ago, the, one Irish, Irish writer, young Irish writer, Ask me that I want to speak, I want to write about your life. And he came to my home and also he said that I have a project. I want to write about five people, Afghan, the five, uh, five uh, immigrants from around the world. And also I took one of you that you to write about you. And there are five people was one from Palestine, one from Iraq, one from Afghanistan, and one was from Burma. I think the uh, five people. So he wrote about me about seven in this book, 70 pages. So this book also, his book was launched in, in Dublin uh, four or five times. So this book, uh, which uh, uh, this person who wrote this book, his name was Shane. And uh, uh, Shane also gave me a book when I saw this book. This was 70 pages about me. This caused that I have to write about myself. 
So I am writing this book uh, from Afghanistan to uh, Ireland. So the first time this book uh, is uh, uh, published in English. So it's supposed to be launched in, uh, in London and in, in Dublin, for example, from Afghanistan to Dublin, to Ireland. So this book is about, I have to say about the content of the book. This is seven pictures, seven chapters in this book. For example, early life, so immigration, uh, uh, attending to the conferences and festivals, visits, uh, and many more. So uh, we, it's, uh, and also there are about 75 topics that I cannot uh, say all the topics to you. This is very good. This is very important. From this book, I have to uh, give you some memory that I have that how people are immigrating. How, what is immigration? One day I was going to the town to, to have a job, to do my job. I was on the bus and the second, third stop, it was the Blanchestone shopping center. I saw the one old man getting into the bus and he came and sat down beside me. This old man, he was a very sociable man. And he said, he asked me, where are you from? I said, from Afghanistan. He said, you choose a long distance. You choose a long distance, okay. Okay, yes, so I came here. We said, don't worry, I'm, I'm also immigrant. I'm Irish, but I'm a, a, a Canadian immigrant. I left uh, uh, Ireland 40 years ago. Now I came to visit one of my uh, cousin here. When I came here in his home, he was sick and he was older than me. So now I wanted to, I want to go to the town to see the town. And he was in the town, in the bus, and he was looking uh, behind the windows, and he was saying, oh, Ireland is a lot of change in Ireland. He said, oh, all of this area were forest. <laughs> and also this bus that we are living, we are going with you, and at every five minutes, this bus is coming from city center to Blanchestone. At that time, when I was going to Canada, one was coming from the morning from city center, another one from uh, evening to go back to the city center. And, and then he was comparing Ireland with Canada, that he says here is a lot much, much benefit than Canada. For example, he said, and here in Ireland, people who are retired, they are getting free bus travel, but there is not in Canada. This one and that one, he was counting this, that. So then when we arrived in the town, he uh, said, please show me the post office. We are the post office. We are the post offices. So I showed the post office and then we say, good boy. You see that how a people are immigrating from one area to another area. Another uh, memory that one day I was uh, invited to uh, Irish, uh, uh, Irish Digital Museum, Irish Immigration Digital Museum. I thought, what is this a museum for immigration? When I went so there, so I saw the director of this museum, Neton. He told me that uh, because we have this, this is a new museum because in this museum, uh, because our uh, uh, our Irish they 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 they, they uh, immigrated to different countries and also they built the other countries. They have a lot of jobs there. We want to bring their activity into this uh, uh, museum and also we brought many many things and also we digitalize all of the film the pictures the letters many things so he sh there was a we have to everybody everybody who want to go into this museum we have to pay per hour 16 euro then he brought me into the museum and it was free for you i said okay i passed uh, this museum i saw this museum just passed through for two hours i saw a lot of lot of things then I thought it is a good that we Afghan also we Afghan also have a much much uh, work that we if we have digital uh, museum. But I asked the Afghan authority to do that. To, to we we have to build such museum into Afghanistan because we also uh, immigrated to the other countries and also built the other countries. This is the thing that I mentioned. Another thing I have another suggestion uh, to the Irish government because. I, as a as an uh, immigrant that I am, I have experience about my children. Also, my children, I have four. So four of them, they studied in Ireland. Fortunately, they were happy that they could study here. 
they got their PhD, master, and also PA, and they are living now. They are they are they are immigrating from this country to the other country. For example, they went to United States, to Switzerland, to UK. So they they immigrated. They they also this year they they young boy also want try to find another job, another be, be, better job, uh, bigger city. They are choosing that. I I cannot say, but I have an experience of. Uh, uh, bullying children into this school because in people, uh, this uh, student don't know about immigration. When they see a, a, a child or a came new to the school, they, bu they are bullying him, bullying him. It's better to the uh, Irish government. On the other governments in the other city, other countries, they had to give some training to the children what is immigration, why the people are immigrating. This is very important for us to, to, to think about that. Uh, for example, I have uh, some of my children that you know, they have uh, they, they, they experience bullying when they arrived here. So this is also caused a very uh, they have a bad experience for that time. It is not good for their brain. Uh, this is also a suggestion that I have. I want to conclude my uh, talk uh, uh, with uh, to say thank you very much for. Thank you for um, uh, the team of uh, Learning Festival that invited me to this event. And also, I would like to thank, thank uh, uh, Afghan Academy and also uh, Mrs. Asiya uh, John, uh, I mean, Mujgan Amini, to uh, facilitate uh, this video for, with us. Uh, thank you very much for um, their assistance to this. And thank you for uh, Emer Murphy to, to invite me to this. Even uh, I don't have anything to mention to, but uh, thanks for your attention. At the end, I will show you uh, a number of uh, footage of pictures regarding to this book, which I published at the end. Thanks for your attention. <music>